Alright, so here's my review for the Dumb and Dumber 2 trailer. Now, I'm going to be completely honest with you guys. I'm actually kind of looking forward to Dumb and Dumber 2 because, let me tell you something, I love the first one. It holds dear to me as my childhood, you know, it has the nostalgia of him. And now, 20 years later, they're making the sequel. I'm like, alright, let's see what they have to offer. Now, after watching the trailer, here are my thoughts. It looks okay. Now, I wasn't blown away by the trailer, you know what I mean? I was hoping, you know, for the best for this film because I was like, you know what? It's been 20 years. This movie could be really, really bad. Especially the Fairly Brothers haven't made a really good film in a long time. I mean, for crying out loud, they made movie 43. <sighs> I'm sorry guys, every time I mention that movie, I always want to get violent. Who knows, because when I saw the first trailers of 22 Jump Street, I was like, I don't know about this, it doesn't look that funny. Thanks, you know, I saw the movie, the funniest film of the year. I enjoyed the hell of it. But in the first few minutes of the trailer, I was like, wait a minute, this is Dumb and Dumber. This is the style of the comedy that I liked from the Fairly Brothers back in the first Dumb and Dumber. When Harry goes to visit Lloyd and he sees in the missile institution, his face is all like that. And then he reveals that he was just faking it. It was just a stunt, just to prank Harry for 20 years. I was just like, that is hilarious. You mean you have been faking for 20 years mm -hmm. and it was all for a gag? Yep. That's... Awesome! Now this is the Dumb and Dumber that I grew up with. Then the trailer continues on, and I'm like, this is so right. It's not making me laugh, but mm, entertained. Jim Carrey and Jeff Dallas look like they're having fun. You know, that's what I want them to have. I want them to have fun, because if they're having fun, then we're having fun. It looks like they're having fun. And it's nice to see Jim Carrey back, because this is his first sequel. It's his Ace Ventura Nature Calls. That was his only sequel. He's notorious for not doing any sequels. So it's interesting to know that he's coming back for this one. Who knows? And this is going to be a very different role for Jeff Daniels because he's a great actor. He's proven time and time again he's a capable actor. I've heard he's really good in that show called Newsroom. I saw a clip of him in that show. Breathtaking. It's an inspirational speech that he did. I was just like, damn. It's funny seeing him going from dramatic roles to Harry, a guy who's a dumbass but if you really think about it it's almost kind of sad you know seeing these guys you know after 20 years they're back doing this but the last moment of the trailer where lloyd is doing this weird nasty stuff to this old grandma and then she's like oh you could cross that off your bucket list and then he goes like this <sighs> that moment i was just like oh that's disgusting yes <laughs> I hope that's not the main thing that Dumb and Number 2 goes for, shock value. Because that's what Movie 43 did, and it was freaking terrible. Overall, the first half of the trailer, I was like, this is Dumb and Number, this is what I grew up with. Then the second half of the trailer kicked in. It didn't quite click with me, but I'm hoping for the best for this film, because I want this film to be good. Because you know what? I love the first one, and I want the sequel to be good. So those are my thoughts on the Dumb and Number 2 trailer. Guys, what did you think about it? Thank you guys so much for watching my video, and... Have a nice day.